there guys, it's Joel here, aka Gallic, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm finally back in my bedroom, it feels so long since I've been here, sitting down, filming a video for you guys. Before I get into things, I don't know if you saw in my Italy vlog, I mentioned that I'm now, instead of using Depop for the time being, I'll be selling stuff on a site called eBloggers. So they sell the stuff on my behalf, which is incredible, a massive time saver for me, and they have a great customer service team and stuff like that, so... Um, if you have any questions and stuff, just message them. Um, and the prices are still very similar to my Depop prices as well. Um, so all in all, it's a win-win. I know there's a lot of other bloggers selling their stuff with them as well. So go ahead and check out the website. There is still a bit of stuff from the first batch, including my Yeezy uh, Season 3 military boots um, up for sale, which are probably going to go down in price again. And um, other bits at the moment that are left, but basically um, there will be more stuff going online. Um, just as I leave for LA, um, like a massive, I've had a massive clear out. So um, if you do want to buy any of the things that I don't wear anymore, um, check eBloggers out. There's a link in the description below. If this is your first video of mine, you're new to the channel, um, don't forget to subscribe because that would be amazing. We are getting closer and closer to 100,000, which is absolutely insane. Um, and if you're already subscribed, thank you, I love you so much. Share this video with a friend, get a friend to subscribe, and let's make your family even bigger. I was waiting in Singapore and Bali. I put videos up for both trips, one for Singapore and one for Bali. I thought I'd split them, because otherwise it would be like a 40 minute long video or something. If you haven't seen those videos, I've left links in the description below. And everything that I've been wearing, like, from the trip, so anything you've seen on Instagram or anything you see in the videos, I've tried to link in the description of those videos as well. So if you saw something that you liked, and you want to know where it's from, just check out the description boxes of those videos. Um, it means so, so much to me if you want to watch them because they take such a long time to kind of put together and edit and stuff. Um, obviously, like, for my Bali trip, I had like two hours of footage from five days, which I condensed into like a 20 minute vlog. You know, if you saw my slice my hand open on my drone as well. So after this video, if you want to check those out, that would be amazing. And let me know what you think of the travel vlogs as well. Obviously, I'm going to LA for a month, um, if you didn't know already, um, for the whole month of April. And I was kind of thinking of what I should do with my video content whilst I'm there. Um, whether I should, you know, vlog each day, each week, um, and then put one up at the end of the week uh, so you can see what I got to out there. Or if you prefer, like, sit down videos, I'm definitely gonna collab um, with a few friends. And so yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of that. And obviously, you've seen the title of this video already, and it's something that I ordered Wah, wah, wah. So did them when I was um, test driving that new Ferrari in Italy a few weeks ago. There's a video of that as well, <laughs> if you want to see that. Um, this is a sentence that I never thought I'd say. Um, and they were supposed to arrive before I went on a trip to Singapore and Bali, but um, they didn't because I kept missing the delivery. Um, which is kind of a good thing because the weather was so hot in Singapore and Bali, I definitely wouldn't have worn um, track pants. I was sweating my balls off every time I left where, uh, anywhere that had air conditioning. So I got them when I came back finally and I'm excited because I can take them to LA with me. Yeah, I know it's going to be hot in LA as well, but it's a different kind of heat um, out in LA than it is to Singapore. Singapore and Bali were very humid. Uh, very wet, it rained and stuff, um, whereas LA is more of like a dry heat. But also, a um, quick update on the Balenciaga Triple S Neon sneakers that I pre-ordered last year during their last, when I was in Paris for Fashion Week, and um, they were supposed to be shipped uh, at the end of December 2017. Uh, they weren't. They were shipped halfway through February, like end of Feb, um, when I was away in Italy, and I missed the delivery three times because I was away the, th the, th the three days when they tried to deliver it. Um, and then they sent them back to Balenciaga and have given me a refund. So that's £600 back in my bank account, which I'm not mad about, um, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad. Everything happens for a reason. I'm kind of glad that I don't have those neon triple S now, because I still have my black and red ones. I don't know if you've seen them, they're actually just on that shelf there, you can't see them. Still have my black and red ones and the 2.0 are out now as well, so I like those even more. It's taught me a lesson that I'm probably never gonna order off the Balenciaga store again, because every single purchase I've made, I have not received. Um, and I bought three things off there now. So, so Balenciaga, you might be a really cool brand, but you can't put an order out. Oh yeah, so, um, I've been seeing these a lot on Instagram, obviously I saw them in the show as well, and these are actually a runway piece, um, which is really, really cool. And um, yeah, they are the Prada Spring Summer 18 Trap Pants Nylon, as I can get the official name for you. They are the Slim Leg Velcro Cuff Nylon Trousers by Prada. Um, I actually managed to cop them on matches fashion. They are really, really hard to come by at the moment. I can't really find them anywhere else. There are um, two pairs coming to matches fashion really soon. One is black and another grey, these same grey ones. Um, so I'll leave links, I've got the links, so I'll leave links to those in the description below. I just don't know when they're coming. The best thing, the best kind of advice I can give you is um, add them to your wish list and you'll get an email when they're back in stock. 
but usually everyone gets their email, so you've got to be super quick if you do want to buy them. So I got them in the grey colourway um, as well. They've got an elasticated waistband and they have like a velcro kind of fastening at the top as well. It kind of fastens like a formal trouser in the fact that it has like a little um, clip and a zip down here. Um, they're kind of high waisted in a way, um, like they come quite high, so you can tuck like a nice shirt into them and stuff like that. Excuse how creased they are, but they are nylon, so like anywhere I put them, they're just going to get super, super creased. I think I've been on my knees as well because I've got scratches on them. Well done, Joel. I have a zip pocket on either side with a nice little Prada um, branded zip. And then at the bottom, they have the rubber cuff, which kind of makes the pant for me, like, this is the main focus point. I think the first person I saw wearing these was Kai Ben Lee, another YouTuber that I watch. And, um, I just thought they looked really sick. And then I've seen a few, like, South Korean, um, Instagrammers that I follow with them as well, and I was like, they look really, really cool. I was like, I want to try them out. So I thought, I, yeah, so I caught the grey pair as soon as they came on matches. Um, and I'm really, really happy with them. The actual product description is a distinct utility inflection runs through Prada's Spring Summer 18 collection. And it is evident in these charcoal grey slim leg trousers. I feel like Trixie Mattel when she's doing an impression of RuPaul. They're made in Italy from lightweight nylon, feature an elasticated drawstring, and velcro fastening waist. Slanted zip pockets and blue and white rubberized logo patches on the elasticated cuffs. It's true to size. I don't know why though, but I'm still not a fan of the Cloud Bus sneakers. Like, I think people look great in them. Like, my friend Drew's got them and he looks amazing. Um, I just, uh, for me, they're not really for me. I don't know why. I can't quite put my finger on it, and I can usually put my finger on it, so. That was so bad, I don't know if I'm gonna can I put that in my video. I'm right, cheap haul. They are £505, which is very expensive for a pair of trousers, especially made of nylon, but we're not gonna talk about that. They are more of an investment piece. Um, just thinking about my wardrobe for the rest of the year. I had a massive clear out the other day. Like I said at the start, loads of stuff will be going on eBloggers, um, which I've left a link to in the description below. There's some stuff on there already. There's still some stuff left and more stuff will be going because basically um, I'm doing a massive clear out before I go to LA. Um, basically just want to refresh and revamp my whole wardrobe because I feel like some stuff I've had for years and some stuff I don't really wear anymore so that's the reason for selling it and giving a percentage of the money to charity as well. But yeah, this is what this is what the Really loving Prada stuff at the moment. Um, I've got my eye on another Prada piece that I might pick up before I go to LA, which I'll probably do a video about um, if you guys are interested. But yeah, I've got two weeks back in the UK before I head to LA. Um, any videos, suggestions, or anything that you want to see, drop a comment below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys.